Hi, this is Tim from DatingInfoForSingles.com, a website that covers everything you need to know for dating success. And today I'd like to discuss the topic, How to Flirt with a Man. Now, you needn't be rich, beautiful, or supremely confident in order to flirt. Nor do you need to be a loose woman or some kind of Don Juan. With just a little practice and know-how, anybody can flirt. Now, flirting can be a useful social tool when used properly. Besides, it's great fun and uh, it can build self-confidence and win friends and influence people. It's also a playful, safe way to test the waters in seeking a compatible romantic partner. Now, admittedly, uh, social situations can fill shy people with dread. Now, while some of us are good at bluffing, others will tend to stay on the sidelines and pray that someone will talk to them or, in some case, pray that they won't. Now, the first step is always the hardest, but understanding the proper way to approach will make things easier. The trick is to pay attention to the other person rather than trying to draw attention to yourself. The key to successful flirting is to make the other person feel good. If you do so successfully, don't be surprised if he or she returns a favor. By talking about and showing interest in the other person, you avoid seeming egotistical and at the same time flatter him or her with your attention. But how do you bring yourself into the right position for a nice interaction? Well, what you want to do is break the ice, get the ball rolling, and, and, and all that other good stuff. Why not just start with a nice hello? The key to flirting is making the other person feel special. It's loving people, especially the opposite sex, and being interested in them. Hey, that already describes you, right? Good flirting is making the other person feel special and having fun in the process. It's also having a relaxed, casual, and friendly attitude. Flirting is simply entering a playful state of mind. Your main goal is to get the one you're flirting with to smile at you. It doesn't require you to be gregarious. You simply need to change your attitude by replacing negative thoughts with positive ones. Now, if you're somewhat shy, you may be afraid of approaching because you feel rejection. The thing to remember is that flirting actually reduces that risk. With flirting, you put out feelers to see what the reaction will be before laying it out all on the line. Entering the right mindset will definitely make it easier. Now to get into the playful mindset, think of a, a, a favorite song, one that pulls you into a good mood and, and energizes you, or, or a pleasant memory of a previous success. You may be surprised at the extra boost of confidence you get. Most people think that flirting has romantic connotations, but the crux of flirting is about making people feel valued and important. The key thing to remember is that flirting is simply a form of conversation. It's more relaxed and lighthearted than most forms of conversation. There's a lot of smiling, laughing, and joking going on in flirting. Definitely no heavy subjects such as news or politics here. The essence of flirting is lightheartedness and frivolity. Flirting means necessarily even be romantic. It could be a, a simple form of communication in which the attention is focused on your conversational partner. Focusing all of your attention on the other person will cause you to come across as a genuine and friendly human being. Everybody wants to be paid attention to and noticed for who they are. It's one of the most flattering things you can do for them. Now while flirting can be ideal for testing the waters, it can also be great for a long-term relationship in keeping the fires of romance burning. Flirting can either spark a new relationship or it can keep an old one fresh. So, what's the best advice for tipping your toe, tip, dipping your toe in the waters? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. There's, nothing, there's never any harm to paying attention to someone and giving him or her a compliment. Best of all, it's free. Now, if you want more information on this and everything else related to success with the opposite sex, Visit our blog at datinginfoforsingles.com slash blog. And while you're there, be sure to fill in your name and email address to get a complete library of seven free books on dating and seduction secrets. See you there.